I loved to read as a kid, but um, I was also drawn to visual, to, you know, I was very visually driven. So I loved comics. I was really big into comics. I mean, I read novels too, but I really loved comics. And back then it wasn't, they didn't have the selection of comics that they do today in terms of like graphic novels. There's all different sort of genres, I suppose, within the graphic novel form. Back then, at least the, the comics I was able to get were like the superhero comics. So I loved like Spider-Man and X-Men. And uh, I loved, you know, I think reading comics and also looking at comics is another sort of way that I was inspired to want to continue to draw and inspired to keep trying to be a better artist. So I would copy the uh, the pictures from some of the comics that I would read and sort of get better at making pictures in that way. But uh, yeah, I was just a really a big, big comic fan throughout most of my youth, big comic collector. Yeah, I still keep up with comics and I, you know, I read, you know, as many graphic novels as, as I hear about. And yeah, there's definitely a huge boom in, in, uh, in amazing graphic novels and memoirs and, you know, fiction. And it's, 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 I think really, it's really opened things up in terms of, because it used to be, you know, it was limited to what, however many pages a, a traditional comic book would be. But now you can make an entire novel so it's really, it's really exploded in terms of like what you can do and, and how stories can be told. And so it's a really inspiring time for, it's a really cool time to, to be reading comics, I think. So people ask me like, my son is a reluctant reader and I always sort of say, well, try like Bone. You know, Bone is like a really, it's a really gripping story and keep, makes you want to keep reading it. And it's, uh, and it's beautifully illustrated and, so comics, I think, are a great way to get kids started on starting to be more and more, you know, better readers.